Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of uh, the Fighters Corner podcast. Uh, today with me, I have uh, Alvaro, Damon, uh, newcomer Rash, Hello. newcomer uh, Keegan. Hello. Um, yeah, in this episode, uh, we're going to talk about the EVO lineup this year for 2020. Uh, but first, uh, Rash and Keegan, I'm going to need you guys to introduce yourselves and tell us why... Uh, you guys got into fighting games or how you got into fighting games so uh, since we're going to do it within the order of the list I have here uh, Rash you go first what's up I'm Rash <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a Tekken player from California happy to be here um, you can find me on PSN at Mitsuru-chan uh, M-I-T-S-U-R-U dash C-H-A-N and on Steam at Carnage Asada and yeah like I got into fighting games a long time ago um, I'm 29 and I got into fighting games probably my first fighting game I think was Samurai Showdown 2 on oh, the Neo Geo cab and uh, there was like a there was a laundromat near my house and they had a Neo Geo cab in there with Samurai Showdown 2 and I used to go there like every day <laughs> and yeah that was my, my intro <laughs> you know that one um, th- that uh, Samurai Showdown 2, that one's considered to be, like, the best, like, Samurai Showdown, like, ever made, according yeah, to... Yeah, I, I, I would say that. I, I would say that it, it's definitely... It's it's the quintessential Samurai Showdown game. Like, that's the game that is the most Samurai Showdown. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. like, you want real yeah. Samurai Showdown? Fuck the new game. Play <laughs> number two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Definitely. <laughs> It would um, probably go standing scene and be like, oh well, <laughs> game over. <laughs> oh, I gotta mean, ask though, in... who was your main in Samurai Showdown Two? My main was either how I was playing either Halmaru or like sometimes I would pick Genon, but like that was when I was mad at people. But well, <laughs> <Hamaru>. nice. <laughs> I mean, in terms of Samurai Showdown Two, it is probably one of the better ones. But from what I've heard. I'm not trying to like start arguing or anything, but from what I've heard, it was Samurai Showdown Five Special. That was when this, that was actually the best one because it was actually good. Mm-hmm. Besides I mean, two, it was, I wouldn't say I would then four. I wouldn't say it was a matter of good and bad. I would say it's a matter of balance and unbalance. <laughs> there you go. Thank Samurai you. Samurai because... Two was way broken. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Samurai Showdown Two was bu- was busted. Well, yeah, that, Sam- it was busted. It was Sam- busted. <laughs> but in my opinion. That's Samurai Showdown. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, yeah, you're not wrong. Kill you in two shots with standing C. That's 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 Samurai Showdown. <laughs> like, okay. yeah. you all like, do footy <laughs> game. You want to play footy here? And, 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 <laughs> And Five Special had its things too, like Shizumaru being able to charge from the character select screen. Like that was, you know, like <laughs> what? that. It, yeah, no, you could charge if you charged his special from the character select screen and let it go. That was a one-shot kill. What? <laughs> like, Crazy. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. What, Yo, I like, want to try this out. Player select moves. Was, like what the hell is dude, this shit? Was, that's yeah, actually like, that. No, wait, hold on, hold on. I can actually vouch for that too because that did actually happen to me one time. That was <laughs> one time. Time on an online match. I yeah, have no idea what like, the if hell you don't I was know doing. About it, it's just gonna, <laughs> you hit, you. You're gonna hit you. Die. Exactly. Like the yeah. same thing with the newest Samurai Showdown game, Yoshitora. <laughs> Yoshitora had a bug with them too. The same thing. You know if what? You use. It was actually a very daunting process, but if you used all seven swords of Yoshitora. Dead. And then after you used all seven swords, you go back to the character select screen, and then you sit there, you wobble all over the character select screen for maybe like three seconds. You go back to Yoshitora, you pick him again, and you start off automatically with the seventh sword. You just get hit and you die. Oh like that's god. that's always the thing. Oh my what god, that hell? that that is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> That's I kind of love showdown. it though. <laughs> That's Samurai Showdown right there. Like that, like I no, not, not, and it's not like I'm not saying it's stupid as like in a bad sense. It's stupid that it's in the game. Like it's it's like it's like that super turbo shit. Like when you see something that's so weird and janky, and like and like it just like works out in your favor, and like you kill a guy in, like three hits. It's like that's stupid, oh, yeah. but I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> Wild for that, yeah, definitely. Freaking ST, man. <laughs> <laughs> so busted. Like, 
<laughs> well, I guess I should make my intro then now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. So I'm um, Keegan. Calendar. You already met me already. Uh, the Keegs 28 on PS4. Uh, I play mostly Mortal Kombat 11 and Street Fighter 5, though I dabble in uh, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters and a couple other games. And what got me into fighting games, geez, it really started when I was young. Uh, I played a lot of uh, Smash Melee, of course, on the GameCube, but I also played a lot of Soul Calibur 2 when mm -hmm. I was young. And I, I played that a lot. So I think that was what really got me started. But I, when I really started to go hardcore was when I was playing MK10 with my friend Elliot, where we just started going hard against each other to see who could be better. And I guess that kind of sparked that uh, fighting game, you know, challengerness in me. And I was like, all right, I'm going to start getting better at other games just to show him up. And <laughs> nice. that's, where it led, that's where it led to. It was just like, all right, man, I'm going so, better at all the other games. <laughs> so uh, I have one small question. Keegan, who did yeah. you main in SoCal 2? Uh, mostly nightmare. Uh, I dabble. Oh, in, big dick energy. Like, <laughs> uh, nightmare, <laughs> nightmare and uh, Link, of course, because is what, what caught my so eye to start as a kid. Dude, like, who who Link's in the game? Oh, I think I think okay. every, I think everybody I, I think everybody was so hyped for that. Like when they announced that, like oh, each version of the game is getting like a guest character. And, yeah. like, to hear the announcement of Link in freaking Soul Calibur is like, this makes <laughs> sense. This makes yeah. so much sense. Yeah. Right? It's funny. I re downloaded it for a GameCube emulator, like, a couple months back. And I ended up actually, like, picking up Cervantes just for the fun of it. Oh, wow. So. Oh. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you guys off. No. No, no, no. Oh, no. no go ahead. Okay. Well, I wanted to go a little bit into the whole Link thing. Well. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, back when when people started like trying to play fighting and start trying to play games in general, and that you had to go to like a game store or a mall or your local hobby shop to find like those strategy guides. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, like uh, yeah, like the moves and stuff, right? Exactly. Yes, and the general strategy of how to play your character because people had no idea how to do it. Right. Right. So it, 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 when, those were like the times where the internet was just kind of like blossoming, you know. The at the time, yeah, we're just starting, pretty much. So, mm -hmm. pretty much at that time, when Link came out, people thought Link was broken. Oh, no. But that is, the <laughs> that is the complete opposite of what he is. He is what we call... He is a character put into the game, but he is essentially non-existent as an actual character. He was actually <laughs> really, really, really bad as a character. <laughs> oh, no. He is considered the second worst character in the entirety of the series. The worst character in the series is technically Yoda. But wow! I really? Oh, wow! Yes, Yoda literally cannot sidestep. He does oh. nothing that jails. He could everything he has to do takes about over two thirds of his force meter. Oh, no. Thus, he cannot do a thing. But Damn. the only thing that's going for him is that most highs in the game can cannot hit him, and yeah. that the factor that in Zocal before Hilda was the busted character in that game and required something called the Doom Combo. Which is basically if you get hit with this if you get hit with one move out of her Doom Combo, which is just basically a long three B or a standard launcher in the game, you basically get run down from half screen. Oh I or third screen if you're not careful. Wait when you said yeah. when you said Doom Combo, I was thinking medium medium foot foot dive. He did missile. Close, but no. <laughs> oh shit! And pretty much, <laughs> and pretty much after that, the only reason why, like, if you look, if you go in like past Soul Calibur tournaments, you look at past majors that are won by characters, you will see why Yoda won one major. Yoda and won that's by major. oh shit. Yoda won one major, and that was twelve years ago. His name is Uthmatic. The only reason. Why he won this major is because he picked Yoda on Hilda, and Hilda against Yoda is a 9-1 against for Hilda. But the problem oh, wow. is, the only reason why it's not a 10-0 is because Yoda has a chance to drop out of her Doom combo oh. because he's too small to hit. That's so when he smart. get so when he got hit by the Doom combo, he knew how to drop out of it or somehow air control himself to not get hit by the shoulder. So oh, thus, man. he somehow was able to time her out for six games straight. 
Damn. He doesn't want to lose for this. Yo, Yoda <laughs> Tech, man. Yoda <laughs> Tech. Imagine oh, how bad the other player must have been for that. <laughs> He must have been pissed. Six matches in a row. Ugh. It was like it was either timed out six matches or uh, I heard that most of the matches were timed out. So I'm like, that's that's, that's crazy. Crazy. like the soul calendar <laughs> that's a turtle or it's a guile turtling. <laughs> yeah, it, it's yeah. equivalent to that pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> and then so back to Link. My apologies. Going back to Link. Link was the meme lord of the Soul Calendar series. <laughs> I call him the meme lord because. There are four. There's a few things you can know about this character. His unblockables were very were all high. His actual tech trap, you can tech it backwards, and you can you know block after teching backwards. Mm. So he didn't really have that much. And then his bombs can be GI back to him. Oh no. So, he well, can so he can explode. Well, they, oh. they well they well that's like the typical Link trait because like since like Legend of Zelda, Link could get hit by his own bombs and die, right? And, okay, and but even, and e- but even in even in Smash Brothers, it's the same thing. So it's just Namco yeah. keeping that same like like that actually makes sense. Like him, I like, guess a small detail to keep it the character exactly. Right? Yeah, to keep true. the character true. Well- I would like to bring up a fact that uh, Link did have a weird back throw where he made the opponent into a Pona. He rode on them and he slapped their ass with oh, his sword. Yeah. Oh, okay. my God. That, yeah, he yeah. does that is, have that throw. Yeah. That was really yeah, weird. I totally forgot about that so, throw. I forgot about that. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> yeah, do, do that to Ivy or Tacky and it's just weird. Ooh, the ambience <laughs> in the room afterwards is just, oh. We got some, oh. some, some <laughs> two, R3, <four. laughs> Yeah, like, Link <laughs> was not like that good of a character like he lacked a lot of stuff he had it like the general like, the three b the two a and all that jazz mm-hmm. but were they safe no especially Silicon caliber two where everything was safe he's the only kid with nothing that's safe i'm like that doesn't make any sense why is this safe why is soul caliber two called safe caliber but link has literally almost nothing that is safe Mitsurugi was pretty good in that game, though, too. Mitsurugi's hella good in that game. I, I was a, I was a talent Mitsurugi main. Mitsurugi and Yoshimitsu are both really good in that game. I, I was, Bro, I, Yoshimitsu was the best character. I was a talent but main. Tall, um, I, I was a talent main for, like, one combo. It's like, she does, like, this bounce combo, and then you just keep tapping forward and kick until they until they ring out. <laughs> oh, that's, um, that's Winsault K. On Winsault K, you can keep looping it, and it... It caused them to... You couldn't really air control in that game. Yeah. So, if you got hit by the first K, you pretty much got rung out. Yeah. But it was on player error if they sat there and they couldn't figure out how to get out of it because you can get out of it if after the third one because you can actually... You can begin the air control. Oh, kind of. okay. Well, what if... What so, if, after... Oh, no. Huh? Keep going, keep going, keep going. So, after the third one... You can technically just air control out of the way, and she'll land, but she'll still be safe. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, like, um, so I was going to say, uh, I was going to ask uh, Keegan because he also mentioned that he played uh, Mortal Kombat. Um, who was uh, you started in ten or eleven? I started in ten. I think I played two as a kid, like mm-hmm. on the Sega Genesis. But I have like vague memories of that. I was probably too young to be playing it, to be honest. <laughs> but, <laughs> but nonetheless, I have like you know glimpses of it. But I, I went hardcore in ten. I played a lot of uh, Smoke. And oh, then okay. Eleven came okay, out. Okay. Okay. And then when Eleven came out, I start. I started with uh, Noob Cybot because I was just like, "Ooh, Noob Cybot's back." But I think I gravitated towards more Scorpion for Eleven because he just has way better potential. That is rules. Yeah, that's like, that's, yeah. that's pretty true. Same. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about in Mortal Kombat 11, so I can't even tell you. I just know that there was a broken OS during the current, the previous patch well, before like, last. The problem, the problem was is that like he had really good combo potential, and like almost all of his combo strings could combo into his spear or like his teleport. Sorry, and, but mm-hmm. his teleport would hit in mid. So what they did to nerf was they changed it so that his teleport hits uh, high. So if anyone's like crouching it, it'll just completely whiff. Oh, neat. Which sucks. Honestly, I, I, as a Scorpion main, it sucks. But as everyone else was like, yes, they're finally nerfing him. <laughs> He's too so, good. Here's a question I have. Did they ever change that animation? Because when it was a mid, it looked pretty clean. 
they ever change the animation? They never changed the animation. I think they just changed the actual like where it hits from a mid to a high. Oh, that's but, uh, disturbing. But the, thing, but the thing is, if like I don't know if you're <laughs> crushing ball mechanic, K11. But uh, I know about the crushing ball mechanic. I actually play Mortal Kombat 11. I just suck oh, at okay. it. Okay, <laughs> okay. But uh, no. So like, if you if he if you if anyone low crouches the uh, the teleport, it's a free crushing blow with the uppercut. Like it's, it hurts. That's disturbing. Why yeah. they nerf Scorpio like the, what they did? Scorpio didn't deserve that. In his defense, he was pretty broken. And if you do like the, he has like a buff that makes all of his spear moves do more damage. And oh, it just, like, okay. That actually makes a lot more sense. I mean, that I, makes sense, but at the same time, that that didn't really okay. It's <laughs> it's a tweak. It's something they made everyone happy because everyone was complaining about. It. But like, he can do a fifty-one percent combo. No. So, That's fine. Uh, you have Joker doing sixty percent for free mid screen. <laughs> Yo, I actually haven't gotten Joker, and I'm kind of mad at myself for not. Uh, so lesson of the day: just <laughs> complain and complain till you get what you want. That's a apparently. Pretty, that's a pretty. That's, lousy, that's, 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 that's a pretty lousy. Lousy. Everyone complained about Gears at the start too, and then he got <laughs> Gears. Okay, Gears. I could actually see what we complain about Gears, but Scorpion. Listen. When yeah. you have a man with a six frame dick jab Listen. and it the and a range three hell sweep that causes a knockdown, Listen. you can special cancel out of Listen, listen, people only complained about Gears because they're racist, okay? They don't want black men to have power. <laughs> <One day>. Okay? <laughs> Wait, Gears has three has three command grabs, I swear. <laughs> he has what? You know He's got two, he has he's three got two command, command He has three oh, command two. grabs. You know it's oh, serious when Dave brings a race card in. Yeah, I think it's I think it's two to be honest, but two command grabs plus his forward and his back throw makes four grabs, bro. Like, come on. Hey man, black men just hey, love hey, to hey. hug. <laughs> black men just love to hug. Hey okay? hey 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 hey. Smoke weed. We okay? all love the hug. Leave us alone. <laughs> oh, bring it in, bring it in, <laughs> bring it in. <laughs> well, yep. I guess I guess it's time to get into like the meat and potatoes of this uh, mm. podcast. Uh, Meat, so- beans, potatoes, limes. <laughs> Please <laughs> stop! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please, I want oh. that song so bad. Please stop! <laughs> oh no! So we we we's gonna be talking about the the evil mm. lineup that's uh, mm-hmm. happening so this year. I, I- Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm trying to find because I had it on the tab, and now I can't. Oh, I have, I have the lot of. I'm looking at the lot of right now. Actually, I can tell you guys what, what's the uh, the list, right? The, the yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right, I got so, I'm looking at them. I'll send a screenshot. So the lineup currently, right now, as it stands, is Dragon Ball Fighters, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, Samurai Showdown, Soul Calibur Six, Street Fighter Five Championship Edition, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Tekken Seven. Undernight in birth X late clear or what I call uni clear and they will stay uni clear. <laughs> I actually like the, hey, hey, I actually like I actually, last year. I, I like I like the sound of that though, uni clear. It sounds like uni like clear. Yeah, it sounds like a like a bleach or something. It's like just apply and, this uh, just apply this uni clear and you can toilet bowl or don't <laughs> <laughs> Is that the game that beat out Smash Melee last year and and, and apparently has beat it out again this year. Well yeah. And the final game is Lapalama Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New and it's an eight-man invitational. Stop it! I'm creaming my pants right now by you saying that title. Oh, Yo. God. Oh. So hype, so oh. hype. It is a eight-man <laughs> invitational. Four people, who, the four people who have already won EVO, which is Duck Do, mm. Sanford Kelly, Yipes, and Justin Wong. And then the other four... Are going to be going through qualifiers from Dave Edwards. Two. No, I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I, I mean, honestly, out of everybody in this chat right now, yep. Dave, you actually have a good shot. You no, just have to I hit don't. the lab harder. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Dave, you don't I understand. <laughs> we have Dave. trust in you. <laughs> Remember, no, it's a, I, play, I have no idea what the pot is, but Dave, you can go out there. I, if honestly, if I if I want to get like tournament ready for this game, I would have to quit both my jobs. 
I would I would have oh, I would need to be isolated. You dedicate your whole life to this. Yes, like I wouldn't shower for a month. Like I will, I would uh, I would not. <laughs> I, I, I will I will I I will be the first guy to give the Marvel crowd a bad name in Bo. I'm just being honest with you guys here. <laughs> If you guys want me to join this thing and actually like have a chance, I would have to quit everything in life. Like I, I love Marvel too. I, I love it to death. But like I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't that good. Maybe like this guy I know named Brett, he could probably make it because he plays tournaments like everywhere he goes. I always see him at, uh, at Yumacon. So like I'm pretty sure he's going to qualify. He's going to try and qualify for this. I wouldn't be surprised if I see him. I see him be like in the top eight or something, right? So, because he plays nothing but old school fighters, and he's nice. like he goes by the name of Psycho Chronic. Uh, he played a lot of he plays a lot of uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Um, oh, that's who I met. Then. Yeah, yeah. Um, he plays a lot of Ultimate Marvel three. His team is so disgusting. His team is um, Trish, C Viper, and Nemesis. And he has like this oh. one unblockable trick with Nemesis that I get caught every time. Like when I see it, I was like, I don't, I don't do anything because I don't know how to get out of it. Just like, yeah, do your thing, Brett. Like uh, I'm gonna just sit here <laughs> and eat this mix up. Yeah, what, what's on, what's on the what's on the di- what's on the lunch today? Oh, mix up. Oh, okay, I'll I'll eat that. Uh, I'll eat that uh, Nemesis mix up. But yeah, he's he's Damn. like he he also plays a uh, CVS two. Um, he's one. Nice. He's one. Uh, Alpha 2 tournament in Numicon a couple years. So, like, this guy, like, in Canada, in Toronto, like, this guy, like, he's, like, the shit. Right? So, he's, he's the guy to watch. He, yeah, okay. he, yeah, he's, yeah, he's the guy to watch. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised if I see him in, like, NorCal, re- regional, biggie gaming, or even Combo Breaker to even try and qualify mm-hmm. for, for Marvel. So, if it, if it was anyone I mean, from Canada to have a chance, I would say Psycho Chronic has a chance. I uh, think, I think is. I think you just named off all four events that are gonna be yeah, there for the yeah, last I, qualifier. Yeah, because I have I have mm. the list in front of me, right? So yeah, yeah. But Although, I, just, I, I, what were you gonna I say? Gotta so say. Happy to see Marvel be at this. Yeah, time. I'm I'm like, happy too. I think it's a like hopefully I'm just being wishful in this, but like I hope this leads to bigger things because like they did a thing for the 10 year anniversary of versus Capcom two, and now they're doing a tournament for the 20th anniversary. But you, and, know, like, you, you know what I think they should do with this? I think they should do this, like, invitational thing every year. You know what I mean? For Marvel they, or for if, different if, games? Next, for for next Marvel year, too. Oh, hmm. I was going to say for other games. Like, I'd love to see uh, the Street Fighter Third Strike oh, uh, at EVO yes. again. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, my God. That would be yes. so hype if G- Third Strike give, was give at Justin EVO Wong again. Justin versus Daigo again. Oh, please. and Daigo finally winning a Third Strike tournament? Oh, my please. God. Please. Yeah. Like how? Like how I mean, would you? Like how do you have like the hypest moment in Evo and not win it? Yeah. Like you. Like the you. Problem all- was, I think it was Don Choi who won that year too. Was it or was it Justin Wong that won it? Wait, Wait Wong didn't really? win it. He got yeah. I think John Choi won that year. Shit. Or no, it was somebody from. I think it was somebody from Spain who actually won it too. I, it was either one of them. I know that much. That was the first game. You see how? Um, you see how like forgettable the winner of that tournament is because Daigo took that the entire moment. moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daigo's like, <laughs> Daigo's like, yeah, enjoy that trophy. They'll be talking about me in fifty years. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Shit. That's. It's true. I mean, it, yeah, I was going to say, though, I think this it's definitely important for the fighting game community to make something of this kind of uh, tournament, this moment, to kind of make noise and be like, hey, Capcom, we want more Marvel vs. Capcom 2, you know, like, mm-hmm. while it's not cool what that. you're trying to do, like, you know... Say- I- Sorry, I was gonna say, like, even not besides mm. the Capcom two, like, let's be honest, Infinite is dead. And it's buried in the ground. It's dead. It's a dead game. Ooh, yeah, it's already. Dead. Yeah, it's dead. It, it has been Ooh. out of tournaments for the past two years. That game is dead. Yeah, I think like, like servers have been down. It, it's always it been down on my birthday. It came out at the wrong time. It like, did. it came out in the whole problem between like Marvel and the Fox stuff. But now that it's time that like Marvel is acquired by Disney and Disney got Fox, so they can finally bring the X Men back together. There is a good time for them to make it a proper Marvel versus Capcom mm-hmm. game. Like, and if I, they're going to advertise it at all, this is the perfect chance. What I think they should do for a new Marvel vs. Capcom game is, like, don't base it off the movies which they tried to do. Because mm. they tried it and it failed. I like the yeah. gem idea. It was cool. 
but I hate. I didn't like the fact that like I didn't I like the fact that you had bad. to pick. Yeah, it, it did look it did it did look bad in the graphical part, but the gameplay was fun. Like I enjoy it. It was right, and mm-hmm. I got and I and I got what they were trying to do, like with the whole like gem system. But I kind of wish they kind of kept the gem system like they did with Marvel superheroes. Like the gems the would appear while you're fighting, and you and you you input a command to use them. Instead of just, I have this gem this entire match. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can just, now, time gem, time gem, time stone, time stone, power stone, reality stone, reality stone. Like, like people could just spam yeah. the crap out of it, right? So, like, yeah, it's got annoying about that. Yeah, it actually well, got annoying. that so, was like, what it was now, then. So, like, my and thing then, is, if they plan to make a new, if they plan to make a new Marvel vs. Capcom, like, yes, like, keep, I say try to do the 2D, 3D route, like, like Guilty Gear, like try to do that Ooh. route. They, they need to take Ooh. perfect inspiration from Dragon Ball Fighters because Dragon Ball Fighters yeah. and Marvel Capcom Infinite came out around the almost the same time, and Fighters did so much better. Well, of course, because it, like because everyone it looked amazing. Not it only, not like, only, not only it looked amazing. It referenced everything people loved about perfectly. about the anime the, the and stuff Dragon like that. Ball. It, and it's just a good game. Yeah, like, it, it plays really well. It does play. It does play really well. Like what? Like what I'm trying to say is like if they make a new one visually, it should look mm. like it should look like an Arc Systems game. But I mean, what about even just having clean pixel art? Yes, Can we just do I that. Would I would. That. I would be down. I would right? be down. I would be down like, to bring that, back that, the pixel character. The crowd for that, and I feel like that. Like if they want the game to sell, they have to you know appeal it to the modern crowd too. That, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I said. Oh. Th- that's why I said they should go for the guilty gear route because even even learning of how they did their thing, um, with like how they made the sprites, it's still 3D rendered, but they did yeah. all the 2D animation cheat work. Like the mm. way it was explained is that like. In 3D animation, you have your keyframes, and then like the in betweens just make everything flow, right? In the in the 2D in the 2D animations of fighting games, it's just like three keyframes, and they put it together. You know what I'm saying? That's why it has like that choppy look. So, what they did with Guilty Gear, they applied that they they applied all the 2D rules in a 3D plane. If you get what I'm saying. Right, mm-hmm. like it took me a while to understand it. Like I had to watch the video a couple more times. But the reason why it looks like a it looked like a two D game is because they took all the two D like all, all the know how they knew about two D pixel art animation and just applied it in three D. So they got so right. like they got rid of all like the cool shit that three D animation does and just turned it into two D two D animation. So what I'm trying to say is that like if they want to keep like that pixel art like that pixel 2d art look do it do it exactly like they did it uh that the the, the exact exactly <clears throat> the same way as arc system works does it and for the button layout keep it marvel 2 just keep it marvel okay. 2 like two, well, one two, one point yeah the the, one, the, the, one the, thing, the four button scheme that's what i think one i one idea here i'm i'm thinking here and it's like I, and i understand at the end of the day, this is a company that wants to make money. Bottom line. I get that. But could they... Would they not be able to make enough money if they focused on the hardcore fighting game fans and community more than trying to get new players? You know? Like, are you really going to convince a Fortnite player to come over and play Marvel vs. Capcom? Like, I... I, I don't know if that's even like worth the effort, you know. I, I get what you're saying, but like at the same time, fighting games is a niche market. So yeah. if you only yeah. focus on us, they won't make enough money. Mm. They won't. And on top of that, we are yeah. we are like our opinions are getting voiced so like our like our opinions are getting listened to so hard it's ridiculous. Like anything new comes out in a fighting game, the first thing somebody does is complain. They complain, 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 and that's all mm-hmm. they do. Like look at like look at the Smash Ultimate character reveal for uh, what's her name, Bailiff Byleth. or Byleth. Byleth. Uh, every mm-hmm. everybody bitched about it. So go. Oh, well, like that's kind of I'm sorry, but that's kind of justified given the fact that we've gotten how many Fire Emblem characters all with the same. I game. get it. I totally get it. But there's another season coming. 
Like, if, if like, if, if they like, if they said, "Oh, this is the final season, and you're getting a final, you're, the final character is a Fire Emblem character," then I understand you would complain. Mm-hmm. But Nintendo Speaking even announced, like, Nintendo even announced that like they're doing another season. So like, like, okay. you, like you know, like just. Justified. Yeah, like it's 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 somewhat justified, you know what I'm saying? Because like it was the same like when Terry Bogard was announced, right? Like half the people didn't even know who he was, you know what I'm saying? Which was lame. Like yeah, which come was, on now. But yeah, which was, come on that, people. Which, which was super. I would lame. pay such good money to see someone play Terry Bogard at Smash Evil 2020 with a fight stick. I'm pretty Please. sure someone's going to do it. They have I to. Someone's it. already doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me rephrase your your statement there, Keegan. They have to enter oh, the Smash. Well, no, no, I'm. Well, I wish I could do it, but I say they should enter the Smash tournament to play as Terry with a fight stick, but it's a Neo Geo fight stick. Oh shit! Ooh. Oh damn! <laughs> if you want to go hard, if you want to go hard, that's a hard flex. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to, you want to yeah. do a hard, and it's possible because like, well, Smash is technically like a five. A five or five or six button game, so like have like a have like a Neo Geo inspired arcade stick. I say so like the first four buttons is like the Neo Geo colors. That would be sick. <laughs> That'd be pretty tight. That that pretty would tight. be that would be really tight. It would have to be analog. Though. Pardon? Hmm. It would have to be. Sorry, I'm, lo- I'm looking at all the, at the Evo champions from the top eight, and it would have to be an they don't have the results for Evo 2004, which is unfortunate. I'm trying to figure out why. I say put it in the form. There we go. I say put it, put no, it in no, the form. No, no, no. I found it. I found it. I think I found it. Hopefully. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There is something here that I saw Caliber 2. Hold up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> We're going oh, back to this now. Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> well, we never left, man. Come on now. <laughs> Soul Caliber 2 is life. <laughs> Although actually, it's probably my favorite Soul Calibur. I don't know about you guys, but it's a really good. Game. It was a good game. I think that's yeah. what I think that was like the pinnacle of Soul Calibur, in my opinion. I could be I, wrong I because I didn't play the so. other ones. Uh three felt really off. Like, well, three came out of nowhere. Like, three Soul Calibur hmm. three was the RKO of the Soul Calibur series. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like I, re- I would never forget this Uh-oh. day. I was like sitting at home watching TV, and I saw a Soul Calibur three commercial. I'm like, oh shit, they made a third one. <laughs> like that was my <laughs> reaction. <laughs> and it was like it was like only on PS two. It was like it was not on Xbox. Yeah. It was not on GameCube. It was only on PlayStation two. I'm just like, are they? Are they they're just rushing this series out. Like they don't give a shit. <laughs> and why is Sam Jackson in the game? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for cutting everybody off, but I found the results for the 2004 Evo or Evo 137 happened. From so the first, who, who took first place was Kenji Obata. He was a young player. Oh, Kenji oh. Obata. Oh. Daigo with Justin Wong, Evo 137 happened in the first round of winner semis. Oh, wow. So this was the get into winner's final. Oh, Damn. shit. <laughs> and then basically it went Yun, Ken, Chun Li, Chun Li. There's one Alex player, one Dudley player, and then two Kens. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, and then okay. Marvel 2 was Jay Wong. He's the first. You got David Lee. You have Desmond Pink- Pinkney, Chris Schmidt, Tong Ho, Randy Liu. Su Young Chon, and then Peter Avila. The Turbo, then Super Duty Fighter 2 Turbo, Daigo, John Choi, Kuni Fanata, Justin Wong, Alex Valle, R- Wes Trusselson, Jesse Howard, Seth Killian. Oh, wow. Why Seth is Killian? Seth Killian, Seth Killian entered yeah, that he... tournament? Wow. Mm. Yep. And then CVS 2. Yosuke Ito was Kim Devu, obviously. Ricky Ortiz. Good old Ricky. John Choi. Dan. His name was just Dan. There's Dan. It's all it is. It just says Dan. Dan. 
<laughs> Did he play he ran, Ratio he 4 Dan? <laughs> if, he played, if he played Ratio 4 Dan and made it that far, impressive, sir. Oof. <laughs> Oof. No, it was for CBS 2. He played Ken Ryu and Sagat. Oh, okay. Oh. That's a that's a yeah. busted team. Let me guess. Ratio 2 Sagat crouching hard punch all day, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, it, you're not it wrong. Works. It, it works. You, know? you had Jay Wong at 5th, and he had Bucktooth, who played Yori Morgan Hibiki. Mm-hmm. And Groove. And you I had... remember that team. Oh, yep. That and Morgan Groove. was yep. beautiful. Eddie Lee, oh. who played my. Who even played even a lower tier team? Was my Eagle and Vega. <laughs> Damn, that is low tier. Yo. But Vega, was, then, Vega was good, though. Vega was, Vega good. was top tier, but yeah. Eagle and my were not that good. No. My was no. okay. I heard my was pretty. My was okay. Mm-hmm. Eagle was okay too. One. What's going on, yeah. gentlemen? Yeah. What's up? What's up? Oh, hey. Uh, a new hey. challenger appears. Mike, what's up, yeah, man? Yeah, that showed up. Oh, uh, <laughs> kids, man. Fucking kids didn't want to go to sleep. I was about to fucking pull out the fanny gauntlet and start snapping people away. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the seventh place, we have Ryota Fugimoto with. Sakura by some Blanca, which is like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And then, so here's the Soul Calibur 2, because apparently in the Soul Calibur 2 Evo, there was a big old collusion. What? Shit that happened. Yeah, 2004 Evo. Soul Calibur 2 had really bad collusion, apparently. Because oh, Robert Combs and Marquette Yarbrough, who all put, well, okay, Robert played Shungwa Ivy Valdo Nightmare, mm-hmm. and Mick played Cassandra Lafiti of Aldo. And they pretty much were just colluding the heck out of the pools, pretty much. Oh and they were God. like, okay, if you collude, you forfeit prize money and title, and you are now officially playing for no place at all. I'm like, oh, damn. well, dang. <laughs> and then after that, you had the only Canadian in this top eight, Mystic Senior, who plays Sofidia Cervantes. You had, you had Chris G. Oh, oh, sorry, not Chris G. You had Christian Gonzalez, oh, who plays Vicious G. Suicide. I'm pretty sure that's Chris was, G. His his name his tag was vicious suicide. Oh God, Edge Lord, much? <laughs> <laughs> Yoshimitsu was his main. I don't ever recall Chris G play Yoshimitsu. I'm so glad you um, we have Steven... Chris G. <laughs> <laughs> we have Stephen Luong who played Mitsurugi. We have Rob Nagaro who played Tallum. You had Jonathan Soon who played Cervantes, and then you had Stephen Hanna who played Nightmare and Shang and then, in Guilty Gear X2, you had Daigo with Soul, Yosuke with Eddie, Ryoto with Faust, Kevin Turner with Chip and Eddie, Soul Mira with Soul, Saf Ibrahim with Soul, Daniel really Vesquez as Eddie, and then Peter Show as Faust and Axel. And then you have the, the Shundi era begun, where Shundi won basically the last like four tournaments by himself. We worked to fight him for You have Hiromiki Kamada with Shundi. You have Eric Chum with Sarah. You had Kurata as Vanessa. You had Ryan Hart, who played Kage and Akira. Yeah, Toro oh, Hoshimoto damn. who played Ryan, Lao. Ryan, Ryan Hart played Virtual Fighter. Damn, that's I didn't even know that. Yeah, Ryan Hart played Virtual Fighter. He played Virtual Fighter too, so he played two, damn. three, four, five Final Showdown, and he's hopefully waiting on a six, so then he'll be great in that game. See now, he anyone played Street Fighter. See now, anyone listening Tekken. to this? Anyone listening to this now? They're going to make fun of me in the comments. It's like, oh, how could you know about fighting games? They didn't know Ryan Hart played fucking Virtual Fighter. Sorry, man. Like. I'm gonna just, let me just... People don't follow Virtual Fighter, which is understandable. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, you don't follow Virtual Fighter. You can tell them to eat ass, smoke grass, and go to hell. You know? <laughs> and, this is, and, that's how I, and that's how I lose subscribers. <laughs> uh, I want to make that a t-shirt, if that's okay. Like, that is beautiful. <laughs> and then you have oh, Toro Hoshimoto. <laughs> you have Toro Hoshimoto playing Lao. You have Adam Reyna playing Jeffrey, the only Jeffrey in this top eight, mind you. Wow. You have Chi Whoa. Dunkley playing Pi. You have Jimmy Bjorn playing Akira. And then, after that, there's Tekken 4 crap, and unfortunately, Tekken 4 Whoa. was not the greatest. And this is where you see USMC Ogre get his first top eight, mm-hmm. because he played Paul. He, <laughs> oh, my God. Did he Phoenix punch everybody? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yes. That was okay. that was literally the game plan for Paul in Tekken Four. You know what? Paul in Tekken Four. 
for us scrub lords, Paul is like is the only answer. So <laughs> yeah, he is like when in doubt, death fist. I don't even care <laughs> what somebody guys say. He's like, yo, this guy's throwing combos at me, trying to back me into the wall. Who are you, Paul? Death fist. <laughs> <laughs> if you, and you got... failed, like, but the, he blocked the death fist. Death fist him again. You thought the plan changed? Death fist. <laughs> you thought the plan changed. Here's the question, though. What's Do you up? think we'll see rank two at uh, Evo this year with uh, Panda and Tekken? Oof. A rank two? A rank two? A rank two with so. a Panda, John? Oh, my God. Yeah, rank two, want, rank two is the only person. This is why Tekken 7 tier list don't matter. Except when it came to Leroy, because Leroy sat there and said, "No, tier lists matter. It's all about the character, not oh, the skill." Okay, That's you know what? what? You makes. know what? You know what? I'm going to. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for saying this, but like, I don't care right now because it's too. Do it. It's too goddamn funny. <laughs> so, like, in the same font as like Black Lives Matter, you put tier lists matter, <laughs> and you have a picture <laughs> of Leroy. <laughs> 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 You just start. You just sat there. And, you just sat there and list. You just launched a rocket. God damn, that's David's a whole reason. Like, that is a like whole you just set yourself to World War Three with that one, like, except through the internet, not like, I don't the know. actual. I can't remember Riot which grenade. I, I can't remember which evil it was. It was. It was a recent one that was like a few years ago. But like, it was like some like. I don't know what his nationality was, but he was not black, and he had a shirt that said "nigga" on it in NASCAR what? font. Yeah, <laughs> he had a shirt. <laughs> oh, okay, I kind of want to see the shirt now. Hold on. <laughs> he, had, he had a shirt that said "nigga" in NASCAR font, <laughs> and it was ridiculous. Wow. And he was on stream. I think uh, he was playing Marvel Three. I think he was playing Marvel Three, and it was on stream too. I was just like, like how, how oh. did you get the red and yellow stripe? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Did you find a shirt? Let me I found a NASCAR logo. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I'm just it. trying to compare it too. So then, finally, with Tech and Tire Tournament One, you have Ryan Hart winning that one with Jim Kazia, Sean Rivera wearing Armor Kane Devil and Anna. You have Brad Vitale, who doesn't play anymore. He his name was Slips. Always ran Julia Eddy. He's been known. To do that tag team very well. You have Nick Shin, also known as Shin, played Julia Michelle, Yay Double Chang. You have Fabrizio Tavasi, Bode, who also played Michelle Julia. There you go. Then you have Thomas Kim, who is alias was Tom Hilfiger, and that's a shirt brand, and I'm worried. <laughs> um, he played Devil. Jin, and then Bruce and Julia. Who's and you have Cheetan Chetty, or Chet Chetty, who played Jin and Devil, Armor King and Anna. And you had Joshua Mol Molinaro, who played as Devil and King. So, yeah, that was pretty much all the games they had. And it was kind of funny on how. That was 2004, what... right? That was 2004. That was even Moment 37. Okay. Right. Dude, I, 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 I still, I still play there. all those games. Yep. Like. Tekken Tag 2, when they brought back June, and then they threw her in the C tier, I'm a June main. So, <laughs> when I saw June was back in Tekken Tag, I was like, yo, the gods be praised. You couldn't stop me on Tekken Tag. <laughs> I, so you like, I just picked, I picked June, and then people would sort of laugh at me at a ranking match, like, yo, this is called Tekken Tag. Where's your partner? Don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and I had combos and mix-ups for days, and she was a C-tier, if I remember, on Tekken Tag 2. She was C-tier! God damn. Lord. Which brings it up to the whole thing with tier lists didn't matter in Tekken. In Tekken Tag 2, it definitely didn't, because everybody's like, yeah, man, I'm gonna use Lars and outspeed you. I'm like, oh, my, meanwhile, John Cena's pulling the green screen behind me. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> I, just wanna... I mean, in technicality speaking, tier lists actually didn't matter because everybody killed you in one combo. So, literally and figuratively, every character had a death combo to an extent. But, like... Unless you were Dr. Buscan Armage. Tekken Tag 2, still, you have, if you have, like, a certain point in Tekken Tag 2, your character can come in there and fucking do the, I need a hero dive and save you from getting comboed <laughs> to death. Oh, yep, geez. that was that thing. True. 
Tag Crash can be baited, and Tag Crash is also stupid too. What I what I want to know is, um, because going back to like the the evil list, um, for so for the games that was listed, so like um, Smash, uh, SF Five, Tekken, uh, Marvel, uh, Dragon Ball, Grand Super Blue. Game. Well, no, I'm not going to mention Blue. Grand Blue because Grand Blue is not out yet. So, because like for what I'm going to ask, and the Japanese version is out. The American version comes out. Chains. No, wh no, which yeah. I understand, but like my 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 question that I was getting into is like, uh, for each game, who do you think is going to take it? We can't say grand, uh, we can't mm. say grand blue yet because it's not out yet, and like we don't know who's playing it right now, and there's no like, because I people know are every, playing it. Yeah, though, people are playing it. With you? Yeah, for sure. As far as it goes, uh, Marvel's Capcom, like, what is that two? Yeah. Yeah, we, we might get we might uh get a surprise person, somebody who like hasn't even been on the scene like that. Make a surprise bit who's always been on the low Marvel's Capcom two come and win it all. Mm -hmm. People uh, still play it. Heavy. You know while I can't predict the player, I would I will throw this out. I think Iron Man will be on the winning team. Guarantee. Really? I guarantee I'm, you Iron I'm Man will be on the winning team. You're calling a set no? Okay. I expect to see a lot of Sentinel, a lot of Storm, and a lot of Magneto for the. Oh, for sure. Don't, don't, don't forget, I, I don't mean... forget Psylocke, man. Don't forget everyone's favorite um, backup dancer, oh, yeah. Psylocke, <laughs> doing yeah, her side we, we might assist. actually. You know, one of the one of those underdog teams that I used to use way back when, and then before I started bullshit and went to Servbot Sentinel. Um, what? Yeah, man. I mean, I used to use Servbot Sentinel and uh, Cable. Dude, that's that's amazing. <laughs> Cable and his robot minions. So, <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. But it, I used to have um, BB Hood. Was it BB Hood? Yeah, yeah, B yeah, yeah, BB Hood. Yeah, yeah. I had BB Hood, um, Blackheart, and Ruby Heart. Ooh, that's interest. That's an we interesting team. Okay. It's a, okay. It was a. It was a weird team, and you would get caught in so much BBS. If you weren't caught in like the Blackheart assist, you definitely got caught in the Ruby Heart assist because you were like, "Oh my God, there's a pylon in the middle of the ground." <laughs> you might find one of those, and that's the joy of Marvel's Capcom too. You can have an underdog team come out of nowhere and just wreck your shit. Well, th well that's what kind of happened when uh, one major tournament in um, uh, years ago in uh, Ultimate Marvel. Someone had Beautiful Joe, uh, Rocket Raccoon, and I forgot the third character. But Frank West. Oh, Frank West, and then what? he had he had this setup where like because because uh, Beautiful Joe has a triple jump, it looks like he's super jumping, so he could still call his assist, uh, call the Rocket Raccoon assist, and people get hit by it all the time. It was the it was a log trap assist, and that's when people oh. discovered that like Rocket Raccoon had like a crazy ass. Assist, because everyone thought Rocket Raccoon was shit. Everyone thought he was shit, and it's one That's like, like um, what happened? Came Blue that was Ivy Ho Joe in final round. Yeah, yeah, final round. That was a tournament, and like everyone yeah, was trying. Ho Joe. Yeah, everyone, everyone was trying to beat this guy, and there's this like he's just like no, Rocket Raccoon assist, log trap. Log trap, like, and people just that's, get hit by oh, it. Oh, that's when we had like a. Uh, the like worst had, part um, about that Amber, was like, that. that down. Yeah. The the worst part about that was that he made it all the way through the winter side, and then after that he stopped playing Marvel that next year. Because <laughs> he, he probably oh, wanted he probably wanted to prove a point. Because like <laughs> the and, smallest point ever. <laughs> <laughs> because no, but like when you think about it, like they're right. Marvel is an Marvel is America's game. We all I'm play, we all play Marvel. But the thing is, in United States, everyone plays like the top tier characters in Marvel. Like in any, see, in any uh, Marvel game, I forget what Evo that was, but we had Kane Blue River, who had. Team Big Body. Hager, 2017. Yeah, Hager, Sentinel, and, and Hulk. And I was like, really? Hulk. Team Team, team Big, Big Body? Bo yeah, Team and Big Body. And then he fucking... And he won. And I was like, wow. Yep. He, he made yep, it work. Yep. Like, Wong. color me surprised. <laughs> what are you going to say, uh, Keegan? I'm hoping Justin Wong does good this year for Evo. I hope so, too. I would, I would, yeah. love, I would love to see... Him do well for Marvel too, but I have to say though, for like out of the out of the 
the four tournaments uh, that they're going to do uh, the qualifiers for for Marvel 2. I hope my boy Clockwork comes out of nowhere and takes a spot. Mm. I loved Clockwork playing Marvel 2. Doom Doom Strider, team best friends? Yo, bring that team back, man. <laughs> yeah. See, I mean, all, that all was, that I was Clockwork, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah, that was Clockwork, yeah. yeah that was Clockwork, clockwork. Yeah. clockwork. Yeah, I want him yeah, to damn. come I want him to come back. Cause he had some hype matches back in the Marvel Two days, man. Hell yeah. All I want, I want Yipes to win it, so that way he can return. <laughs> <laughs> I just want Yipes to win it and then compensate himself winning it. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I literally Ooh, want. I don't care. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the commentary is legendary for sure. That is legendary. I hope Sonic Fox does good this year for because uh, he. Has I, had the, I had the pleasure of meeting uh, Yipes. It was amazing. Uh, well, you want uh, I've Sonic met Fox? Yipes. Oh, yeah, Sonic Fox got stolen last year. Like he lost it last year to, uh, for Dragon Ball Fighters. So I'm really hoping he does good for that for this year. I don't think. Um, oh, I'll game you. Okay. Or I'd like to see something with Leffen too, but I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna be playing Smash. Yeah, he's of course he's gonna play Smash. That's like his main. He Smash should be playing title. Smash, but as as all said before, he's probably gonna go to melee because he can't play Ultimate. Remember, his results dwindled the moment he sat there and tried to play ultimate and then go back to melee. <laughs> yeah. It was not a it was not what you call the happy ever ending. The happy ever after ending. It was more of the get bodied, stay bodied, and stay free ending. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, mean, shit. I don't know. I, 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 it sucks that they're trying to push out like melee four ultimate, but I understand why they're doing. It's also, fun fact, did you guys know that Mario Kart DS was at Evo for a year? What? No. Way. No. I'm looking at the results yeah. right now. No. Which yeah, way? which year? 2006. Oh shit! Yo, that's shit. sick. That's it was, I guess I guess it's a won? fighting game. It's, it's a fighting game then. It, it's a fighting game. <laughs> apparently, 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 game. Rob took it. Whoever Cameron Kangan is, apparently, whoever Rob is in Mario Kart DS, he took it. Well, yeah, like okay. it, it, it's it's a fighting. That's game. That's kind of that's sick though. Honestly, <laughs> good good for him. Good for him. But we um, they got rid of Mortal Kombat 11. I want to know why. Well, uh, it's I think it's just Nether Realms going on their own to try and do their own stuff. Because I know in March they've got like the the Final Combat tournament, and that that tournament they're doing like the gameplay trailer for Spawn. Because they have, like, Tom McFarlane and, like, uh, Ed Boone and all the guys, the higher up there. Oh, yeah. So I think that's going to be a big thing. And I think they're just trying to do their own solo, like, kind of like kind of like how uh, they've done the Capcom Pro Tour with Street Fighter. Oh, true. I think true. they're trying to do their own, kind of their own thing for Mortal Kombat 11, which right. makes sense. That NetherRealm Studios is a big enough company. Do you think they're going to bring back the Combat League then, where, like, they do the online battles? I think so. I think there was already something like that kind of back. Like, there's like an online tournament in it. So they might actually go back to like the old combat league stuff where everybody just played online. Yeah, it, mm. I think. So. Do you but think it's easier to, to do it that way, or, or do you think we're better off with like stuff like Evo? I think like for the final scale stuff, I think it's better for stuff like Evo because it's nice to actually play in that crowd. And, you know, it's a different atmosphere. Well, that and my whole problem every time is connection issues. Like, yeah, I, like there's a big everybody. I used to have this conversation. Everybody, it's like, it's like if we if you played me in real life, like in real time, I would beat you into the dirt. And they're like, no, you're not. It's just the same as online. No, the one the thing uh, that's saving you is your connection. Connection is saving yeah. your life right now. I mean, I like who honestly plays online and really thinks like oh yeah that was good like there was there was no nothing wrong with that that fight like yeah. obviously there's always who are you like, i so, there's always I, like, there's so many times like that i'll play online and i'm like up oh, here it comes i see my character skipping i hear the old matrix sounds just yeah. I'm like <laughs> oh my god i mean we kind of expect that though from the uh, <laughs> online players, oh. right like to a certain degree um it, it sucks when it happens. It's great when it doesn't, but it's part of the the design. And like the real, the real like one on one fight is done in person. I mean, that has to be kind of like yeah. 
that has to be reckoned. I don't think, like, like in-person tournaments kind of date back to that, you know, old style, like, two people sitting at an arcade cabinet. For sure. Yeah. 100%. Like, yeah. And I think that's what, like, it is meant to be, like, more than just, like, oh, it's just a big event. Like, mm -hmm. It's that in-person, face-to-face showdown type situation. Those, those, are oh. the, those are the best days, though, in my opinion. Like, I miss, I miss the fact that Toronto had an arcade uh, mm. called Funland Arcade. Man, like, I would mm -hmm. love going there. Like, anytime I would be downtown, I'm like, going to the arcade. I don't care. Like, I, like I'm going. Like, I love that. I, I, I just feel that, like, this whole, like, since the online scene happened, it just, I, it's not the same. Like, playing somebody, like, it's cool I could play somebody across the world, but, like, I don't know, man. Like, just being in the same spot as the person next to you, and you're playing, like, a local match, like, that, like, the feeling behind that is is godlike. Like that will never change for me. Yeah. Right. Because like when because when you honest. lose because like when you lose right like you could actually figure out like why you lost right. It's not because of lag or like that guy's connection's terrible or. Like, you know, someone, yeah. someone once See? told me that fighting games are a lot like chess. And I think yeah, like, they are. The more as I like, yeah. like into, into like hardcore into it, the more I understood what he meant. And I'm like, yeah, I get this. Because you got because you, you have to predict the other person's move, right? Absolutely, so. right. And it's predicting and reacting to what like to what's in front of you, right? Mm hmm. And yeah, I, I think that's what makes you know. I, I, at first, is like I think that's why it's so hard to get into it. Is that like fighting games come off as really difficult, but like once you break past that layer and you start understanding the complexities of it complexities of sorry uh you start to like actually you know have fun because you can actually play mm -hmm. true but Seems. also the uh the lineup at the machine was oh, there's yeah. a feeling when you drop your quarter and you're you know you're up next you're kind of like you're watching the next the, the fight going on you know it's it's thing you know uh like i remember being playing on third strike and I was like, okay, uh, I'm bringing Necro to the party. Everyone was like, yo, what the fuck? What's this guy doing? Like, what? Necro? <laughs> Necro? Who, who is this guy, right? And, you know, every now and then I got, you know, got a win out with uh, Necro because Magnetic Storm on Akuma lols. It <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, oh. no, it was it was something of, res like, you get a kind of different kind of respect, you know? The fact that you kind of try you you beat the best player all these sort of things was part of that kind of community and you know that effect is sort of lost in online but you see it at these tournaments you know that's like and that's the thing right yeah. that's why these tournaments are so so much fun so so much fun to see the live man yeah exactly but yeah i'm ex i don't know i think this year this evo is going to be you know obviously you know I'm not too hyped on the whole Samurai show. I'm just because I've never dabbled in Neither have I dabbled I mean, if you guys want, I'm going to be going to EVO this year, too. So I can give you, like, live feed of what it looks and what it feels like down there. Well, yeah, please do. Yeah. Right. Please do. Tight. Yeah. Because I could, I could actually make a Get small... A live stream going. Yeah, I'll probably make a small video of that if you could grab me some footage and stuff. Because I would love to go back. It's just so goddamn expensive. Like... <laughs> Like it was f oh, like, when, I went, when I went the first time two years ago. Oh my god! It was like it's like I can't believe I'm here right now. Like I've been watching this online for like for years, and like I'm I'm here. Now you're actually here. Yeah, like it's it's crazy. Yeah, and the first thing you realize is that everything is expensive, and then I oh, god, yes. <sighs> you know, I, mean, I was when I I went there unprepared. I ate. I guarantee you, like I went Thursday, and I was there till Sunday. My meals consisted of chicken tenders from like seven o'clock in the morning, and I didn't eat again until about five or six in the afternoon. And it was chicken tenders. It was the most. It was the cheapest thing to get. Even going to McDonald's was bittersweet because I was like, "Yeah, let me get that. Let me get a, like a double, double quarter pounder." They're like, "All right, fourteen dollars." Oh my what? god! <laughs> you pay <I> Vegas <laughs> prices. You <laughs> sat there. Where you looked through all. You was like. You ain't got that money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I came prepared because, like, I didn't know. I think this is, like, the evil gods, like, smiling down on me. Because um, around the time uh, before I went, uh, that year, 
Yeah, that year was like the first week of. It was the first week of August. So bef- the month before that, I did a. I did two weeks of sixty hour shifts, because it was Amazon Prime Day, right? So I did two. Yeah, so I did two weeks of. Uh, yeah, two weeks of. Uh, of sixty hour shifts. So that was like 120. That was like 120 hours right there, plus 40 of those hours collectively were overtime hours. On top of that, I did a full 21 hours at UPS. On top of that, it was before my vacation, so you get vacation pay before that. So when I saw my pay like the week before I was going to Evo, it was like close to three grand. So I paid off my credit Damn, so card. Fucking Shane McMahon's here comes the money started playing when you saw it. So I paid off my credit card and then some, right? And then the week, the week that I landed at Vegas, I was getting paid that week. Um, I was getting paid that week from UPS because I get paid every week. That was an extra five hundred and sixty dollars in my pocket, <laughs> and I blew all of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Dave! You know what's better? <laughs> See, what happened to me was when I was actually when I bought the plane ticket. Yeah, I was like, okay, bought the plane ticket. We're in there. I just gotta wait three months. No problem. I can do that. So I sat there. It was like I should probably start banking up my money soon. I wait till about mid July to start saving up money. <laughs> oh God. I got paid weekly, so I was just paying off all the bills and stuff. So mm-hmm. I had about, there was about, what, two and a half weeks left before I, before I went, to, before I got on that plane. Yeah. <laughs> that first week, I took literally my entire paycheck, put it in savings. Second week, put the whole check in savings. I was eating broke until I got on that plane. <laughs> Str- it was awful. You, were, were you eating struggle soup? <laughs> I was eating no. All I all I did was I saw Rayo noodles, lukewarm water, some ice water, and then some random, a little bit of random, and then here and there I had a little bit of random veggies. And I was like, okay, we can do something with this. I st- <laughs> so <laughs> the pork. The, and then yep. so then when I got on the wrong. plane. <laughs> My gr- my grandmother, she sent me some extra money too, and my dad gave me some extra money. Well, that's sweet of And me. so I had at least a good like twelve hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars on me on deck. <laughs> and then I burned about eleven hundred and six dollars. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> because I entered four games. Mm-hmm. Most of it was food. But I bought like, oh yeah, well, I bought like two hundred sixty dollars worth of posters. Oh yeah, I, I bought two hundred sixty dollars. Yeah, I bought two hundred sixty dollars worth of with the posters, and I got like half of them for free because I money match people for them. Oh wow, you did see yeah. your money matches and you didn't tell us. Yeah, <laughs> see, I didn't. Money I didn't want for the swap. <laughs> it was like, look, I'm like, look. Some dude sat there, bought a poster ahead of me, and I was sitting there. I'm like, I wanted that poster. <laughs> and the guy goes, "Sorry, dude. I mean, if they have another copy, I'm like, I got up there and said, have another copy of that poster you just bought. And like, no, that was the last one. I was like, hey, I waved him down. I'll money match for that poster real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so Man, we did, we and I told eyes. him. That, and That's... I told him, but I had the I had cash right back then. So I said, I told him, I'm like, look, if I win this first of five, I get the poster. But if you win the first five, I'll give you the sixty dollars you just spent on that poster. Whoa. So you won't have Whoa. to worry about it. And you didn't that was the money match. You fucking Shaolin showdown. You like Shaolin <laughs> showdown. The whole arena showed up. I used sixty dollars. It was like poster he wanted. Bam! Next thing you know, it's oh my god. The next thing you know, those five games went quick, and I made out like a fat rat. <laughs> what game? What, what game was it that you played? I played um, Tekken, Virtua oh, Fighter. Oh jeez. And then I um, so, so then we play- played the. You played him in Tekken. Um, you, te- you played him in Tekken and Virtual Fighter, right? 
Tekken Ridge Fighter, and then I played it, and then I uh, we also did Soul Calibur Six. That was when it was still fresh. He he already lost before he even picked up the controller. We didn't know what we were doing half the time. Look, I I wanted the poster. I'm sorry. I I know I I, know you wanted it, but goddamn, like that's like the blackest thing you could ever do to somebody. Like, (laughs) like real shit. (laughs) Like that's like somebody in the hood doing that shit. It's just like. Yo, I'm a money match for that poster. It's like someone buying like the last <laughs> piece of chicken, and you're just like you walking with like your you walking with your laptop and shit to play uh what's that game? Melty Blood is like yo, money match you for that piece of chicken. Like <laughs> like that's some like yeah, hey, buddy, yo, Shaolin showdown you for that meal. What? <laughs> Shaolin showdown. Like that like that that is like some real gangster shit you just did there, man. I didn't know you were. <laughs> Money matching people for posters while all of us were like drinking and eating pizza. This guy's money matching people for posters. <laughs> this is Look. why. This is why I can't vacation with you, David. I can't vacation. <laughs> right, he's, he's gonna sit there and see something. He's like, I really want that. He's like, you should shout and show down him. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but you know what, though, that's a story. That is like, a story. That's a story. That's like the right? hypest like... evil story I've ever heard. <laughs> see. No, if I tell you what the poster was, you guys could lose all respect for me. So I can't. I'm not gonna tell you oh, what it was. Oh no! no uh, have we, to I think you. we have to know. Yeah, yeah, we have to. Know, it, was, no. it was a Hello Kitty Treasure Island poster, wasn't it? No, it was a not safe for work poster of oh. a character from Kanasuba. Snap! Oh, yeah. If Snap. you know who Aqua is, the blue haired chick from Kanasuba. Yeah, yeah. I and know it said not safe for work. Then yeah, you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? Let me rephrase what I just said there. That's big dick energy right there. This man <laughs> This man was so horny for a poster, he money matched someone else for that post. Like, yo, when you like when you when when people especially women, when they say men think we're their dicks, like you went in hard, bro. You're just like, I want that poster. <laughs> Give me that poster I'm right now. <laughs> sorry. I'm like, I went all I wanted it. I like, I didn't care. I wanted that crap. <laughs> I was done. I wasn't gonna sit there and freaking no. No, I do it for your wife. I was I just yeah, honestly, I haven't lost respect for you, man. I you've gained more respect. Like that like you know what that's <laughs> like? That's like that's like a guy with like the hottest girl at Evo. I know that's saying a lot. <laughs> and, and you just walk up to homeboy and be like, "Yo, I'm money match you for your girl." Like, <laughs> hey, I got another story for that. Actually, I have an exact story for that. Actually, oh, snap, so here we you go. Co- yes, no. yes. I'm gonna yes, change this. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna change the name of this podcast to like Damon stories. <laughs> uh, they're they're- yes. They're great stories, though. Let's be honest here. Come on, man. They're amazing so, stories. <laughs> so, basically, oh, my apologies for this. We're taking over for that. That's my signal to go, gentlemen. Baby starts crying. Oh. I gotta go be a dad now. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, go go home day. and be a family man. <laughs> All right. I'll be on my guy. He's already <laughs> home. <laughs> He's already <laughs> home. I'll catch, I'll catch you later, dad. Mike. <laughs> All right. All right. Yep. So, <laughs> so, anyways, girl. this story. So, the story went down like this. It was Yomacon 2011. I think this was like the one year that Dave couldn't go. I think mean, it was one year that I didn't see you. No, I'm not what, sure if it was. It was 2016 I didn't go to. That's okay, one, yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah 2011 to. was when um the whole big old battle opera was there. No, sorry. Sorry, 2015. 2015. Yep, 2015. It was yeah, one of the social type of five time. I remember this one specifically. Mm. So it was me and my friend Alex. We got there Thursday, and we were just chilling, waiting for the game room to open up. And we were just, and since there wasn't really much else to really do because we weren't fans of panels at that time, we sat there. We were just chilling. We talked to like all the FGC people. We talked to you guys. We talked to Christian a little bit. We talked to freaking um, our local friends like Adrian and Charles there here and there. And we were just talking this whole for the game would open up, right? This is when it was in the Rensen, by the way. So when the Rensen finally decided to open up the game room, and since it was 24-7, everybody was going nuts. And it was it was a free day. So pretty much you could just go in there, just go play games, go chill. Nice. We get in there, and all I see is I'm looking for my friend Alex. All I see 
is him sitting down and playing Street Fighter. I'm like, okay, he's playing Street Fighter 4. I'm like, okay, that's not bad. I see him picking, like, he plays Ken, and he just doing some type, he just footing in with Ken, he's doing car throws, he got sweeps, probably wasn't hitting car DP or car, um, not car, car DP or car focus attack well at all. So he knew what he was kind of doing. Mm hmm. So, the next thing I know, some dude was talking crap behind him, and I just happened to overhear it. Alex lost the match, shook the man's hand, got up, walked over by me, saw the dude who was talking crap, and said, hold up, hey, yo, bro, I want to match you for your girl real quick. Oh, I'm like, shit. Alex... Alex, Alex, wait, what? Alex, Alex, wait, what? Alex, Alex has no chill. I know Alex. That guy has no chill. I gotta get that guy on the show sometime. <laughs> he has I'm no chill. Like, wait, I'm like, Alex, wait, what? Hold up, hold up, wait, what? Yeah, I'm gonna show you real quick. He just sat there, and just went. Wait, you serious? Okay, and he happened to just accept. And I'm just sitting. I'm just like, Alex, what do you, what are you gonna do if you lose? Do you have the money for this? Are you putting down money on this? It's not. Nah, but now my own self-pride. I'm like, that's not what you do. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes it's a first. Yes. It's a it's a first to three. I'm sitting. Here, I don't even have. I didn't record it. I just wiped my own eyes. I think somebody else recorded. It. I think I can ask him for the recording. Right. But my friend Alex sat there. He. Bodied this poor person. Oh, no. This man was this man was playing. I think he was playing Balrog at the time, and Alex hates Balrog because Ken is <laughs> having the light kick to stop Balrog like that. He's not Ryu. So, so what he did was for every time he did a light straight, he would just mash. He would just mash jab and just do DP if it hit and. <laughs> He did it a good six times before he started learning. I'm just like, good oh, lord, this this is not yeah. gonna be fun. And I'm watching the girls sitting there just going, "Go get him, baby!" That's what I'm talking about. Beat his ass. And uh, then I know the moment you heard "beat his ass," you saw thirty other people, thirty corn people oh, come no. rushing in for a money match. And hey, I'm playing for money right now. Hold on, hold on. who's playing for money right now? And I'm like, this is for money. It was his fault. This is for her. <laughs> and let me just let me just let me just explain uh, to some of the people in the in, in the in the chat right now like if you don't know who corn is like these guys are like these guys are like probably like the coolest group of guys in the midwest of the fgc i fucking love these guys especially one member in particular who talks like the most shit <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The name is all caps. So what ended up happening was Alex won the set three to one, and he sat there and was just like, after all what I just did, I don't think it was worth it. Walked the other way, and I'm just sitting here. I'm like, Alex, did you just? He just walked away. I I didn't see him for like a good four hours after that. Oh my god. Next thing I know. The chick and the dude who lost were arguing about their own relationship. <laughs> and she started talking so much oh, shit about him. Oh, snap. <laughs> and I never saw them again after that. I was just like, what the hell? Well, that the relationship hell? ended. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter, like, ruining relationship, 1991. I, <laughs> 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 I was just like, wait a minute now. And then next thing I know, I see Caps coming in. He said, "Ho, oh, I got fifty bucks the next money match. Who, who trying to play? Who trying to play?" I'm just like, "No, I ain't trying to play after this. <laughs> why are you people? Why are you trying to get up the scavenge?" <laughs> I'm like, "Wait, no, no." <laughs> I just, I just left to go find Alex. I couldn't find him for like hours at that point in time. And I'm like, Alex, you won the money match. You got the girl. Was it worth it? He goes, I won. But at what cost? Your Street Fighter career? <laughs> Your Street Fighter career? Relationship? I mean, you literally made the man break up with his girlfriend right then and there, so there's that. You got to ruin their entirety in the con. 
Good job. <laughs> If, if, you, if that doesn't ruin a weekend, I don't know what does. Like, Jesus I, Christ, man. Losing in a money match in Street Fighter for your girlfriend, though? I'm like, Oof. was it worth it? <laughs> Oof. That's, I mean, you gotta be pretty confident to do that, but... <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, he was talking crap about Alex, and I didn't say much about it, because I'm like, I'm gonna let Alex do this, and I'm not gonna fight his battles for him. Right. He just came up and said, let me take a girl real quick. And then he just sat there and really just took his girl and then walked off. I'm just like, that's not even cool. <laughs> I mean, that that's a story, though. That is a good like, story. Geez, man. It's an awful story. I hate telling the story because Alex <laughs> is the one who... Alex tells it better than I would. I only know what exactly happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened after he walked off and disappeared for four hours. You probably, took, you probably took someone else's girl in another money match. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This, man, this man's just money matching for girls... Like goddamn, like that that's 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 serious, bro. Like holy shit. <laughs> Yo. But uh you see lesson of the story here. Poster more valuable than girlfriend. Oh jeez. Apparently <laughs> apparently Street Fighter is more important than your girl. It is just got you gotta gotta throw it out there. I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> well if that if that was the case, that guy would have won the match if Street Fighter was more important than his girl. Mm. <laughs> like real yeah, shit. Yeah, that is true. That <laughs> like, is true. Like real shit, man. <laughs> I mean another another story that happened about the whole thing was that my friend, me and my friend Alice went to a place called Digital Ops, which doesn't really exist anymore, but yeah. we don't know. It's a little spot where basically it's like a ga- it's like a gaming cove, pretty much. Right. And pretty much what happens is you pay like seven bucks for like a whole hour. You get to play whatever game you want. Don't really care. Blah blah blah. Mm. And so they had Street Fighter there, and there was a guy who was playing there. I think his name was actually I think his name was actually Brandon. Yeah, his name was Brandon. Yeah, yeah. Um. So. <clears throat> Alex was playing Brandon at the time, and he was basically biting him for like a good three, four games straight. Right. I'm playing Soul Calibur with my friend Isaac, and I go walk over there to go see what the hell is going on. Next thing I know, I just see Alex is doing his usual stuff, and he's just getting hits left and right. He ain't he anti Aaron. He's doing all types of stuff, and he's just getting good. He's just playing the street fighter pretty much. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know, his girl, the, the the player he was playing against, his girlfriend walks by, and no, this person was a Dawson player, by the way. Okay. You, you ever seen someone sit there and turn it up so fast that you didn't know what happened? <laughs> this man had like <laughs> Evo, Filipino champ, Golden Boy Neo setups left and right. Like you could, like the moment his girlfriend sat there and sat down next to him. You just oh. see this man teleport mix up which you've never seen before. You see meaties. You see <laughs> light kick and the hit confirmed. Tur- I was like, turned it on. Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, he turned it on. He already, okay, has, then. He, already, then, he already has the girl. Why is he trying to impress her? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Beats me, man. I don't know, but it was it was really messy because Al was like four games, mm. and then after that, he was down like he was down four games. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like, good grief, Alex! What happened? His girl showed up, and best thing you know, he was doing evil base level setups. I'm like, I've never seen this before in my life. I've never seen Dawson move this fast before. It's like he was on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, the power of yoga. Power of yoga. Of course, man. <laughs> That's all I can say to it. <laughs> oh my god! I think like back to the. Evo topic. <laughs> I'm not apologies on that. <laughs> no, it's cool because those are some funny ass stories, man. Um, what I wanted to know was um, well, let me get the, let me get this back up again. Um, so with the with the invitationals uh for Marvel two, um, what like I know we talked about Third Strike, but what other invitationals? would we like to see that we haven't seen yet because we've seen super turbo invitationals that was like how many years ago like, like that was several like, I believe. there were several i know they didn't have one in the last like three four years i think there was like one like what five six years ago 
that they had. Uh, they 2016 had, was the last year they had it. Yeah, okay, so yeah, 2016 was the last time they did uh, Super Turbo uh, Invitationals. So, like, what other, like, classic, like, um, fighting game titles that was, that made Evo Evo, uh, would you like to see in the future? And it could be, like, any game that was that was on Virtual Evo. Fighter 5, in my opinion, or any type of older Virtual Fighter game. Mm -hmm. I would love to see that back. What I about, already said Third Strike, but I think Street Fighter 2 Turbo would be a good addition, too. Just bring Turbo, just bring Super Turbo again? Yeah, why not? I would um, I would say like I would love to see um I know it's not that popular but like I would love to see Alpha Three. That would okay. be, that would okay. be that would be fun to watch. I find like I'm still I'm I just started playing Alpha Three again. But another one too, CVS Two. Like holy crap! Imagine, I would love to see CVS Two again. Imagine CVS Two had an Invitational. That would be that would be crazy. That would be super crazy. Or or you know maybe it'll give it something for Capcom to you know make CVS three. I don't know, man. Everyone hates Capcom right now. I don't think they should be making anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> With this Marvel two, there's their chance to redeem themselves and you know maybe make something good. Well, but we said that for every like new game they've been trying to make. <laughs> like when we saw Marvel Infinite, we're just like, oh, this gives Capcom a chance to redeem itself. Nope. <laughs> it was pretty much like. Oh well, it's because they couldn't get the X Men, right? I think well, that was a big break for it, and I think that hindered the game. And then, on top of the graphics problems, it was just kind of like, eh. Like that, like that, I agree with. But it was just, it was just so shitty. Like everybody was like bullying Capcom because, like, they tried to make, they tried to bring back the the Marvel versus Capcom franchise, and then uh Namkai Bando and Arxis was just like, yo, hold my beer real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're, they're, though, they're, they're just like, we're gonna ruin this man's whole career. Like <laughs> And that's how Dragon Ball Fighters came to be. Exactly. And like not only like the aesthetics was like freaking beautiful, but like like it played it almost played like Marvel 3. I won't say it played like Marvel 3 exactly because they had to like bring in like the dragon ball and anime mechanics uh yeah. to the game but uh speaking of dragon ball they just dropped like the season three news um yeah like, they dropped the season three news Ultra update. Instinct, goku and <laughs> kefla kefla's sick kefla's gonna be sick. kefla yeah Who's kefla again uh she was she's dragon super. Ball. Yeah. yeah she's from super. dragon ball super yeah she was the fusion of um kale kale and, and kalifla yeah so they wear the patora oh. earrings and they fuse together and shit. They look cool. Yeah, so um they were they they were in the whatchamacallit, the, the tournament of power saga. Mm -hmm. That's where they make their mm -hmm. first appearance. Um already, of course, like what else is new? Mans are complaining about uh Kefla being a character. Actually I won't say I got into it with him, but like he was just acting like a bitch because <laughs> the way he was like complaining saying like oh Kefla's trash like why why do we why do we have this character yet there's like four more slots uh for characters to be announced and like it's very like 50 50 with the responses because like um I I haven't I haven't read like an actual like negative response it's mostly been like childish responses saying like oh this character is garbage blah 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 like nothing that actually really makes any sense on why the character is a bad choice but uh um, well, quick, question, quick question here who's left pardon like who's a who's a notable character that's left? Who's missing well like uh, yeah i think we could get like if you've watched super they could bring in topo i think he'd be a good character to bring in topo Whis, masaroshi uh, Roshi would be no, cool. most, you know, Master Roshi would be sick, actually. Yeah. Roshi People have been begging for Master Roshi for a while now. So. Master Roshi would be good. I don't think they'll do Wiss. I'd be surprised if he did. If they did. Um, I think we'll um, get, I think we're going to get uh, maybe Kaba. That other Kaba scene. would be a good one. Kaba, Topo. Um, um, I think we might get another villain. I don't know who we could get, though. Uh, what about uh, Pecan? Who's Pecan? Pecan? Yeah, from Dragon Ball Z. Though he was yeah. only there for like two episodes. Yeah, but maybe? everyone, everyone freaking loved him for some reason. He was like, really? He he was like the poor man's Piccolo, <laughs> but he was like, he took out Frieza and saw like there were nothing. 
Oh, Pecan. Oh, Pecan, oh, yeah. yeah. I know. I know who yeah, he is. that guy. Pecan, yeah. He'd sorry. be kind of cool. I can see that. Because um, that's who he, cause he fought with Goku in Hell, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah. Um, any character from the Tournament of Power who lasted more than two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally anyone from the, from there oh, you can oh. put in the game and be okay. I hear some people, because um, back to that same comment that I saw, like one person, like the same person <laughs> was complaining. He was like saying, he was saying shit like, oh, I would take Chi Chi over. Over Kefla. Chi-Chi? Yeah. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> I we love, already got Videl. Like, we got, I love, like, the T Gohan. With I love Chi Chi. She's adorable. She's sweet as fuck. But I don't think she should be in this game. Like, maybe, like, if you're going to put Chi Chi in the game, put Dragon Ball Chi Chi, at least. Because at least mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Chi Chi, like, she did some, like, crazy ass shit in that series. And her, so, like, like, blue armor outfit would be kind of sick. Yeah. Yeah. So like, or you know you you could put Bulma in the damn game too because Bulma doesn't really fight per se but she has a brain. Do what they did with Coco No Way. Well, someone someone, use her- said, someone said someone said put Bulma in the game but have her in like a mech suit or something. That's what someone said. That'd be fun. That'd be kind of cool fun. actually. Yeah. So that way she could Not actually like stand a chance. You know what I mean? Um. What else? Who else could we get besides them? I don't know. I think that's what's good is that we're in, we don't have to, we don't know who to expect. So whoever we do get will be interesting. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like I was never expecting we got Kid Goku from GT. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think they should dive into more GT characters? Mm-hmm. If they Oma- do, no, it will Omega have Shenron. to be different. We could like, totally get Omega Shenron. But Omega oh, Shinra. That would be sick. That would be a sick character, actually. That would be sick. Omega he, Shinra would be good. Omega, Pan would be good. Omega, Omega Shenron in, in Bodokai 3 was pretty awesome. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, he was a pretty yeah. fun character to play. Yeah, no one talks about it. Huh? I, I'm still fully expecting to do Topo because they did Jiren. Like, they could do Topo. And they could mm. go with the God of Destruction version of Topo, which is work. I mean, that could probably be an install or something. That actually, that'd be in a case. Or just like it'd be like his super, like his level three or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh, yeah. Like how the freezer is his golden freezer. That that's actually a good comparison. It could be like a transformation. That but. would be cool. Mm-hmm. There's like so many characters like they could put in because like they're they're dipping in like all parts of the the universe. Universes you know? now. You know what I mean? Like, they're not just focusing on Z. Like, they're going into Super. They dived into a little bit of, like, regular Dragon Ball. So, like... I got a question for you, though. What's that? Uh, since we're getting Street Fighter Five at uh, EVO, and it's been... it's Well, Gil is out, and by that time, it'll have been a while. Do you think we'll get a new character for Street Fighter Five Champion Edition? Maybe. We might get... Really? One... I, I, f- I, have a f- I have a small feeling we may get one more season before Street Fighter Six. I, wow. I can see that. I, I feel. I mean, gonna, I, I feel we're gonna. I feel like last, season. last Like, yeah, no, they're they're done here, right? They're done here. But you're saying now one more? I I would say so. I say like one more, like hurrah for five before they announce yeah. six. Who do you think they're gonna put into the next DLC then? That I don't know because like because we've gotten Gil. Who's up next? Well, we have all the bosses, right? Like, this is like the first yeah. Street Fighter game that has like every single. We got uh, Bison, we got Sagat, and we got Gil. So and yeah. Yuri and Seth and, and Seth. Seth too. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Seth comes out. Seth comes out uh, this Friday. Well, next Friday. Well, this coming. Or do you Friday. think we might get like more like unique characters, like how we got like Ed? Maybe. I guess I don't know because they only had they only had two characters who play like that. And it was like Ed and Falk. Well, and then there was yeah. they brought in Abigail too, but Abigail was from a different game, right? Yeah, he's from Final, Final Fight. Fight. Yep. Like Final Fight yeah. is actually Final Fight. Final Fight is actually part of the Street Fighter universe. Like it's been so crazy. that's why they could bring him in. So yeah. they might they maybe they bring in someone else from the- from Final Fight. Uh, because we have who we have from Final Fight. We have Zeku. Technically, he's a Final guy. Fight character. Oh yeah, right. Technically, he he's a Final Fight character because he trained Guy, right? Yeah. Um, Cody. Well, did he did he ever show up in the games though? He showed up in Guy's ending in Alpha Two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we have Zeku, we have Abigail, we have Cody, 
and we have Lucia and Poison. So we have five Final Fight characters in this game. This is like probably like the most Final Fight characters that yeah. we have ever gotten in in a Street Fighter title. I would say bring back Mackie because Mackie's only <laughs> been be in like. Maki's only been in two games, really. She's been in CVS. Uh, I'd be hyped for Maki, honestly. Yeah, like I, I, hope, been... I honestly hope they do something like how they they did Kage for Evil Ryu, but like mm. I'd expect something different for like Violent, Violent Ken, or just bring in Violent Ken. <sighs> That'd be cool. They don't want to bring back the Violent Ken because Violent Ken was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Afro Afro Ken. <laughs> Afro Ken. <laughs> Pretty much called Agro Ken. Thank you. Thank you. It was mm. Agro Ken. I'm, yep. I'm just, I don't really. It doesn't matter. Matter to me. I'm always gonna. Be... Cause like I, mm. I, I'm trying to see like who else they could bring in like new character wise. You know what I mean? I mean, they could do Necro. They I'm could. Just saying. They could. I'm just this, saying. This is pre. Just saying. Character. This, this is this is pre. <laughs> this is pre Street Fighter Three, right? So we could yeah. see Necro come back. Everyone's dying for Makoto, right? Mm. Okay, Although uh, you know what would be really funny. If What's the that? trailer shows up and it's Makoto like walking in, then it transforms into twelve. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. that would be awful. <laughs> that would be like the biggest f u to all the Makoto fans. I say do it. Ouch! I'm all about I'm all about the trolling. <laughs> would they do Makoto even after we've already gotten Sakura? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're totally different. They're, to, they're like, to, we had, totally we had, different. We had Sakura and Makoto in Street Fighter Four. I don't see what the. I don't see what the problem is having them in a game now. Like uh, yeah. Street Fighter Street 4's 5. roster was huge, though. That was huge. It was like it was bigger since like Alpha Three. Like I remember when I played Alpha Three the first time, uh, the PlayStation version. So it was technically Street Fighter Alpha Three Upper, and like the amount of characters they added, it was like holy shit. This is like a huge roster. Cause like you have like all you had every character from Super Turbo come back. In that game, plus you had all the alpha characters and new characters, so there that was a huge roster. And then like Ultra Street Fighter Four came out and it made the roster even bigger. Like I would still say Street Fighter Ultra Street Fighter Four has the biggest roster. So if they do another season of Street Fighter Five, it might surpass uh, the Ultra Street Fighter Four roster. That's crazy. It would be crazy because they have a they have a crap ton of characters. I've been saying since like. What, 2004? I was, like, me and my friend, uh, CK, we said, like, they should make, like, one, like, fan service type Street Fighter game. Like, it, there's, like, no canon story, no nothing, and you have every character that's been in Street Fighter in the game. Just, like, a dream match. Yeah, like a, like a Street Fighter dream mm. match. You know what I mean? Like, that'd, just, be, oh, that'd, that'd like, be nice. Definitely. That would that would be so dope. And, like, just, because, like, at the time when everyone was just playing Third Strike... Like we said, it's technically third strike with every single Street Fighter character ever made in like in the history of Street Fighter. I love how I said when we were talking about or like what would happen for Champion Division. I said, "Man, they bring back the third strike parry. It's over." What do they do for set of Gale? Oh, for Gale, yeah, they give him the they give him the parry, but they even get. But you also have the parry for Alex, and you have the parry for Ryu. Yeah, but yeah. like Gale's parry can actually you can actually full parry on uh, Chun Li <laughs> on Chun Li Super. You can't full parry. parry. No, you can full parry with Ryu. Can you? Yeah, you can. You have, but you have to do it the the same rhythm as the Maraca. That's how you do uh, it. Yeah. yeah. So like people were like kind of mad about that. It's like, oh, I just have to press two buttons to to parry. That's so stupid. Ba 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 ba. Not to, be, not to add like the insult to injury there or anything. You just gotta come. You just gotta complain, right? That's exactly. The, the name you, of the game. That's yeah. what you do. Just, just complain. There was something else I wanted to add about um, Street Fighter Five. Oh yeah, now I remember, because I was talking about this earlier. So like, if they're gonna do like a new character from like, but like they're bringing back a character from the Capcom universe, I think they should dive into Slam Masters. I really think they should, because like the game is already linked to Street Fighter, when you think about it. Like they already put the C, the the CWF, the Capcom Wrestling Federation, in Street Fighter Five. So that makes it canon. On top of that, Gunlock is like related to Guile. In some way. True. Right. True. And I, and I was reading up on um, the character Wrath, 
who was in Slam Masters 2, who's like the demon-like character from India. So it's like rumored that he's from the Makai world, that's the Darkstalkers world. So not only like this wrestling game has ties to Street Fighter, it's also trying to tie into Darkstalkers, which is pretty crazy. So like they should bring in like a character from Slam Masters, because Slam Masters had some pretty dope characters. And plus Hagar was in the game. So like all the moves that yeah. you see, yeah, all the moves you see Hagar do in Marvel Three, it was from that game, right? Like the violent acts and all that other shit. Like it was from that game. <clears throat> so I say if they're going to bring in like a like a like a new ish character, I say they should dip into Slam Masters. Like you could disagree, agree to disagree. What no, I, I think I I'd, I'd be down with that. Right? Because uh, like, I think that'd be, I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Cause like I, cause like they keep dipping into Final Fight. Like we know, Final Fight's part of the Street Fighter universe. They also announced a while back that Rival Schools is part of the Street Fighter universe. So put in a Rival Schools character. Ooh, right? Like, Please do. Fun. Like put like bring Natsu. back Ron. <laughs> <laughs> bring back Natsu, damn it! I was one, I was one of those two. Or bring back Momo. I don't care. Bring back Momo. <laughs> Tennis girl? <laughs> yes, she was one of the best characters in that game because she had a giant swing. That was awesome. Yeah. Just like, just like her crush Shoma, because <laughs> she crushed on Shoma. That story mode was so cool because it's like a comic book, which is pretty cool. And I like the, Damn. I like the. There, they had this one stage in Project Justice where you fight in a little, in like an actual classroom. So you can't super jump because if you super jump, you take damage because you hit the ceiling. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I that's actually that. cool. Yeah, so like when you do like a launcher, you knock them up into the ceiling and th- they take damage from the ceiling. If you do like these bouncy like juggle type combos because you can't super jump, <laughs> it was real. It was really cool. Man, I love I love Project Damn. Justice. Project Justice was sick. Anyway, it's been it's been good chatting. Uh, Sally, I gotta. Oh yeah, it's ten. Yeah, it is ten. Oh, I guess 10 we o'clock. I guess we could end it here. If that's, yeah. yeah, but yeah. I mean, we we kind of covered good ground here on why uh, Evo kicks ass and yeah, well, and fighting I'll... game tournaments in general. So uh, exactly. we're definitely excited for it. Are yeah. you? <laughs> pointing to be. the screen <laughs> <laughs> pointing to the screen and being like they can't see you finger in the screen <laughs> they, 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 are you trying to do a Simpson reference or something <laughs> yep <laughs> the whole process of Simpson reference <laughs> Bart, I don't Dave. alarm. Bart, I don't alarm you, but Capcom presents. <laughs> I fucking love that meme so much. Oh no! Oh my goodness! You fuck up the rhythm. You fuck up the combo. Oh. As soon as I heard about Marvel Two being in the Evo, that's all I could think about was that freaking video. Did you dude showing off the Iron Man? Did you did you see the ASMR one? Oh, no. <laughs> so he's they whis- made an ASMR one. Yeah, so like he's whispering the whole Why? thing. He's just like, we're gonna do a motherfucking combo. Okay, don't drop that shit. Like he's whispering the whole time. Oh god, it's so good. It's so good, man. <laughs> oh, so some little fun fact about DBC fighters. I just found the results. I found a picture of the results from the last chance qualifier. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. There are twenty-four GT Goku's in the last chance qualifier from top thirty-two oh, to uh, the grand finals. There are twenty-four of them. Jeez. Oh, and they all ran different point characters. Oh. Bardock, Android twenty-one. Kid Boo, <laughs> Kid Boo, more Kid Boo, Vegeta, Hit, Bardock, Teen please, Gohan, please stop. Ender 21. Please stop, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> 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 hey, there man. were, there was literally one, two, three, three people ran three different teams. Oh my god. Other than that, everybody else had GD Goku. Okay, that shirt needs to be made. Tearless matter. <laughs> there you go. I know someone with a, I, just, I know someone with a t shirt press too, so like I could get it done. 
<laughs> get it done. If you make if you make it, I'll buy one. Well, hey, I I kind of want to do like an old man gaming apparel, so like that may be coming soon. Do it. Yo. Yeah, man. Right, I gotta head out though. All right, Keegan. You have a good All night, right. man. Nice meeting you, Keegan. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure, uh, as always. And I mean, fuck, if you guys want to do this next week as well, just let me know, all right? Yeah, I'll let Although you know. we got Sonic. We got Sonic. Oh, yeah, Sonic movies coming out this week. <laughs> Woohoo! Go gotta, exactly. We all got to go fast <laughs> to the theater. <laughs> February 14th, no, ladies and gentlemen. Fun with that. <laughs> Fucking hater. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. <laughs> You know what be so funny? We go watch the movie and they just play all the cutscenes from Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, uh, you guys have a good night, alright? Uh, <laughs> good night, man. Catch y'all later, okay? Yep. Have a good one. Take later. Yep. Have a good one. And I just want to say, uh, anyone who is stuck around this entire time listening to this podcast, thank you for sticking around. Um, and yeah, we is out. Catch you laters.